Howdy caddies. Weekly walk about time at the collector. Hope you're good. We've been flat knacker again. Bloody trucks rocking up on Monday. Heaps of cool stuff this week. I like that little blue glass ring box. Really nice. Lanes Motors, Exhibition Street, Melbourne. Paperweight advertising Buick. What else? Some nice glitzy jewellery. You've got some Japanese occupation currency here. Old Australian paper currency down the bottom there. Uh, the big gold apple over the back is Tiffany & Co. It's got all the signature underneath. Numbers and stuff. Uh, the flute's a bit interesting as well. Sort of like Oriental Chinese or something like that. Lovely big church pew. And that guy. If it's a guy. I think it's a guy. Yep, concrete sort of Greek classical thing. Another one there as well. Some nice sort of Victorian style chairs and stuff. Nice little pie radiogram. Little turntable and gear. Nice little thing. This little jacket's a little cutie as well. It's fallen off. Actually pretty cool. Little sort of kid's jacket from, what is it? SAT Caram. But it's got all pins and badges and Speedy Gonzales and by Morris CC Cricket Club, I guess. Little Scottish bagpiper. Some cool pins and stuff on it. Nice little lot. Alright, cool little lamp. Um, these are sort of mint rolls of, I think, Don Bradman cricket medallions. Some cool little costume jewellery. A little lot of lights and lamps. Little owl ones a ripper. Blue and white china. Fur coat with some ties. Pretty cool sort of 1970s, 80s ski jacket. Nice lady shot silk dress. And also we've got boxes of prints and stuff. A little box of records. Golf books. Big boxes of stuffs. What else? Glassware, big box, a lot of spanners. Little shelf lot there. Cool old railway signal. Another one up the top. Uh, Papua, Papua New Guinea tarpa cloths. Sort of ladies items. Tools. Wokey gear. Cool lot of lamps and lighting. What else? I've got heaps of tools this week. Big Triton sort of drop saw workstation thing. Big old sort of roller there, which I reckon they probably used in between innings at the last test. <laughs> really nice old singer sewing machine. Got a little lift up top if I can get it off. All the transfer and everything is mint on it. He's a ripper. All the drawers down the side. It's got a little sort of fold up side on the table as well. Good bit. Big sort of polishing stone or grinding stone with an electric motor on a big bench. More uh, lots of tools and spanners. More tools and a wheelbarrow. Ammo crates. All sorts of gear down the back. Big lot of suitcases. Uh, there's a lapidary polishing sort of machine or something here. The row built little jewel. That's it in there. What else? All sorts of bloody stuff this week. Another be uh, bench grinder. More tools, compressors and stuff like that. Big lot of sports gear and footy stuff. Uh, more tools. Planes and Estwing hammer and stuff. A good little lot of art reference books. There's a nice 25 volume set, Historian's History of the World. I think 1908 they were published. Well, so we've got a couple of big bloody ladders. More tools and stuff here. Typewriters. Good little lot of stereo gear. Here's a little good little sort of briefcase system. Cassette and 8 track in it. Turntable and radio. Speakers as the lid. With some other bits as well. Another nice big box of tools. Another good little lot of stereo gear. Uh, this is a big um, tumbler. A little electric motor to go on the side there to tumble your gemstones and things like that. Polishes them up. Lovely old leather suitcase. Big American flag on a pole. It's got the stand and a Confederate one there as well. Kind of quite nice with the big sort of finials on them and all the sort of gold rope and stuff hanging off. Great old bike with a stack hat. Heaps of DVDs and CDs and stuff. Big shelf, lot of uh, glass and crystal. Nice big lot of gaming. 
uh, cutlery and other gear some model airplanes and some sort of blokey magazines and books Oz pottery and the rest group lot of EP and other stuff chainsaw another nice bench grinder heaps of padlocks with their keys this is a nice group lot there's all sorts of gear cameras and staplers and uh, multimeters and tire pressure gauges and drill bits uh, China uh, four boxes of tools here there's this bloody skateboard. Look at that thing. Look at the friggin' wheels on that. I tried to have a go out in the street, but almost killed myself. Kind of cool, though. Little cabinet's cute. Another nice little dental lathe. There you go. Some sort of cool mid-century style chairs with some buffets. It's nice, a little sort of fire pit. Boxes sort of some really cool vintage clothing and stuff. Nice, a lot of occasional furniture and nests the tables. Dining suite, real retro 1970s, cool sort of tiger stripe on the table. What else have we got? Nice little Victorian table inlaid top. Hey, it's the best thing at a sale. Look at this. Look at it, it's made out of shells. We think it's supposed to be a tiger. We're not sure it could be a number of things. But it is glorious. Lovely little cedar stool. It's got a cool little label on the inside which says it was bought from the estate of A.M.E. Bale. It's a very famous Australian artist. It's a great little thing. I like this little arts and crafts sort of side table. Nice with little sort of pins through it to keep it together. A couple of nice little chairs. And just in case you missed it the first time, there it is again in all of its glory. Shell art. And what else have we got? We've got some nice little paintings this week. A little British school thing signed Basil de H. Reynolds. Now there's an artist, Basil Hope Reynolds, who painted uh, a lot of Disney stuff, did cartoons for Disney, English artist. Not sure if it's the same guy with that little D-E in between. A bit interesting. I uh, like this Keith Nickel oil painting. Really nice little thing. Although you can't bloody see that. That's a bit better. Jersey Carves at Cranbourne, that's what it's called. Nice little sort of Chinese or Japanese watercolour on silk, 1930s. These are nice. Little Jennifer Paul monotypes. Good things. Old wattle. The monotypes, when an artist paints it on a piece of glass and then just presses the glass onto the paper. In, yeah, it gets all smudged and everything like that, hence the term monotype. They can only ever print one of them. This is good too, colour woodblock print. Real lovely colours, sort of bit of fauvism about it. No signature sided, good thing. Okay, what other bloody stuff is there? Noritake and other dinner sets, fireman's hose, old violin, telephone sort of set, cobra candlesticks, Oz pottery. This is great little bit, little Eprad, a uh, little drive-in heater, someone sort of electrified it put a new plug on it but it's got scratching up the top here something or other drive in I just can't quite out, make out the first three initials cool bit reproduction Norton tin sign a pair of brand new bloody scooter wheels although it's bloody scooters <laughs> a little motion lamps cool answered a a bag some good ephemera bendigo um, little box Lego kit never been opened stack hat in its box records Neil Diamond? What the bloody hell is that doing in front? Uh, more stuff there as well. Jewellery, radios and phones. Crazy bloody cork sculpture in a box. Uh, looks like a 16mm projector with a mirror. Some nice old split cane fishing rods. Light up globe of the world. Cool lot of old magazines and books. This is an old Bakelite check printing machine. Lovely old record anvil. Some interesting records, uh, industrial can opener, nice old guitar, old classical guitar, torch is a cracker with some binoculars, these are good, the old Atari game boxes, there's no cartridges, they're just the boxes, more Australian pottery, glass, hand beaten sort of arts and crafts, little windmill lamps a ripper, she's nice, little carved Balinese girl, oriental items, nice little bench vice, Advertising ashtrays, fishing creel and contents, swap cards, Oz pottery, another Lego system, lovely old tin, 
There's four little 1970s as new oil lamps in those boxes. These are good, the Man of War sort of game um, pieces, sort of like um, Dungeons and Dragons, more Lego, Zebo tins. There you go. Door stops for someone who's into. You wouldn't pick trout fishing, would you? What else have we got? Give a show projector, the Jolly Swagman, goodie bag, Premiership Port. Who is it? Geelong and Footscray. Well, one of them's got no chance this year. <laughs> Little Chinese or Japanese clock's pretty cool. Big poker work charges are quite unusual. Real 1970s. What else have we got? Damaged Brettby, which is a shame. There's a nice little Australian sort of cowrie pine hand painted. Uh, little crystal fishies and stuff. Art glass, some hand painted signs. Dr. Tom, medical, dental, barber, shaving and shoe repairs. He does everything. It's a nice old violin which was sold, I think, in a Ballarat store. It's got a label inside. Midwinter, mid-century modern sort of set. Some nice Australian art reference books. Little Shelley shaving cup there. Some nice old bits of um, like cookie cutters and stuff. And then the box over the back is everyone's favourite lot this week, the Anal Probe. <laughs> nice little art glass set. Nice bit of jug. Really nice big Art Nouveau uh, serving tray there. It's got a little bit of wear. Nice lot of Oz pottery. You got Freya, Povey, Arno Barrow, and Andrew Cope over the back. Uh, what else have we got? Big Sharps. Toffee tin. Nice little um, Eastern instrument in the box. Another little banjo mandolin. Nice big industrial milkshake maker. And this is the ripper. This is the Bonza um, industrial can opener. Funnily enough, made in um, England. Funny with a name like Bonza. But anyway. Royal Worcester little tea set there, which is really quite nice with the matching sterling silver spoons. The big Japanese TWA airliner. Bit of English art pottery. A doll. Nice lot of glass. Looks like Davidson and Stewart. Goebbels. Interesting little skull there. Sort of decorated tribal. The old Ardmonis advertising signs a ripper over the back. Nice pair of vases. Little um, jug there is manganese glass, so it glows under a UV light. Pilkington Bowl, cool old bench top mic, another bit of manganese glass for lamp base. This is a Carl Duldig littered little chocolate pot there. Little Polish sort of mid-century figure. Some nice bits up the top shelf, uh, 19th century China, Japanese Awaji. Really nice pair of glasses that are uranium glass, so they glow under UV light. They've got hand-painted sort of drunken dudes on them. Sweet Adeline, and the other guy leaning up against the lamp post. Lovely little bit of Paragon hand-painted Art Deco. Book on Albert Namajira. Really nice Japanese Ikebana book. Flower arranging. Uh, Italian candlestick. Maritumo wear. Royal Crown Derby. Uh, Zolne, I reckon those deers are. And another nice bit of Wilkinson Oriflame over in the corner. There you go, that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Well, it'll be another good sale on Thursday night. The weather's getting a little bit warm up.